going on, YouTubers? John with Green Abbey Rolling. Today we are in Memphis, getting unloaded right now. Pan you around here. Shingles. All right, Eddie is offloading me right now. And I picked up here Monday morning with shingles, took it to Irving, Texas, delivered at a shingle place just to get another load of shingles there to come right back here. <laughs> so I have already sent in my empty. I'm waiting on word on what my next load is going to be. It would not hurt my feelings to get another load of shingles out of here going back to Irving, Texas. <laughs> easy, easy, easy money. Like, what, 11 straps, 2x straps, 22 uh, edge protectors, and we're gone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, easy money with shingles. Hopefully, no, never have to tarp, but I have seen a few disgruntled <laughs> truck drivers got stuck with tarping on certain uh, shingle loads. I don't see that happening with this location and where I'm going in Texas. Uh, I was in Irving, Texas when another driver got stuck with one pallet out of the entire trailer he had. One pallet had to be tarped. That had been like a pallet of golden shingles or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. But that poor guy. Um, anyway, but shingles is easy money. I love it. Uh, it was my first load out. First load out of Joplin. If you pick up your truck out of Joplin when you're new to TMC, most likely if you don't get something that's just at the yard already, a trailer swap, you're going to go get shingles. Again, easy money. So, uh, great way to start your, your career here with TMC. Um, again, hopefully, this thing goes off here. There's a little tremble. The dispatch, or fleet manager, sends me another shingle load while I'm here. Because if not, I got to pull out. <laughs> I got to leave this location turn around and park up somewhere and wait for uh, load information and it's early enough in the morning it's only 9 40 I put in my empty about 20 minutes ago it should have gone off already telling me what my next location is going to be fingers crossed for here um, but yep yeah. it is gloomy though gloomy rainy possible storm coming out of Texas and on sad note yesterday yeah yesterday morning I woke up um, about two hours away from uh, Irving Texas on the way there at a truck stop and I heard on the radio a storm came in and a tornado activity hit Nashville and as far as I've seen on the news, 19 people have perished. That's uh, very unfortunate. And um, I'm no weather person, but uh, it seems like tornado season has come early. And uh, winter is just about gone. I would, I would say it's about gone when, when look at my windshield. When bugs start appearing on the windshield, spring is around the corner but pretty much everything south of this interstate 70 uh, can get nasty uh, bugs 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 early uh, well you get about 80 and 90 in the spring and warmer condition yeah you get grasshoppers and, and ladybugs or butterflies and I mean everything but you get near the 70 40 mainly 40 because I'm off the 40 now and you get anywhere near Mississippi River you get these water bugs it's just as bad it just destroys your windshield so remember stock up on windshield washer fluid and uh, uh, window cleaner and he 
he's just about done. He's got one side all done. Now he's getting the other side. Two different products here. So, yeah. Um, I've had a few uh, people message or leave comments saying they would like to see uh, actual loading and the process and all that. Yeah, um, this location... I have to pull off the property. I need to. I, I should get my lazy butt um, geared up, put the GoPro on, put it on the the vest deal or the hard hat deal, and film. But it's really easy. Um, you're just throwing straps, throw a half twist, um, and cinch it down, but not too tight. Insulation, shingles. Product like that, you because it's soft, you can't over tight or don't over tight. Okay, you can easily over tight. Don't over tight. So it's best to throw a half twist. Um, always use edge protectors. Edge protectors in this these loads like uh, wallboard, um, you're obviously protecting the product, and not necessarily the strap. Then there's loads like steel loads and where you gotta use edge protectors, but you're protecting the strap and not really the product, right? Um, again, shingles are easy money. I do this every day. <laughs> this is, it's easy. Um, what else? Yeah, weather, questionable. If I get sent back toward Texas, I'm most likely gonna hit rain. I was kind of wanting to get a truck wash. Max is, you know, it's it's about a week. I'd like to get my truck washed about once a week. Um, if I get in the Dallas area, we have the one blue beacon off the roundabout of Dallas. I think it's 30, 235. I, I don't know. It's over there. Um, they do a really good job. I've come across them, and they did, like, the best job out of most of the fly or uh, blue beacons. Uh, most of the time, blue beacons just suck kids they're kids they don't care they miss everything they just i've literally seen this guy like use his brush and just act like he's he's scrubbing but he just puts the soap on and just touch touch the tank and he turned to literally look at me to see if i was watching i was like yeah i'm a hot guy i'm watching you uh, and then he started to brush a little bit more but if i hadn't been paying attention i've been you know staring at my phone or whatever it would have been like just dab some soap on there make it look like I scrubbed something and then pressure wash it off that's all they do um, and then at first everything looks great right because it's all wet once you pull out of a blue beacon and a truck wash and the things start to dry that's when you'll start to notice where like especially on, the, on your back cab um, you get that chrome it's all chrome doors on on your uh, your um, headache rack your guard and you'll see where the brushes went and missed the missed the dirt and missed you know they just scrub 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 real quick and you like see zigzags and then they pressure washed it off that yeah i'm i'm that picky that annoys me but there's nothing i can do until because i leave you know i roll out i ain't got time to be so picky I'm like i'm gonna drive back around back in the back of the aisle or the back of the line and make the, them wash it again for free. Sometimes you're in line for an hour. In Phoenix area, wow. We had the one truck wash we were allowed to use. I've sat in that line for two and a half hours. That sucked. <laughs> that sucked. But, come on, when you're in beautiful Arizona, gorgeous sun, sunny day, you're damn right I'm having that sucker washed. Max is going to look good. Chrome's going to be done. I'm going to throw a little uh, tire juice on there. Make them hand dry it. Damn right. But uh, sometimes it's just, especially during the winter season, when you got to get those points, those uh, appearance points is what they call it. Um, get those points and... Uh, 
you sometimes you gotta wash it in the rain. You literally pull in all dirty, you get it washed, and you pull it back out, and before you get to the interstate, all the drive tires throwing shit all over the back of the the cab again, and it's dirty again. But in the system, you look good. So uh, Eddie is done. So it's time for me to roll out. We gotta put a hood. Certain parts of the nation, the company wants you to have your uh, anti-theft code entered or set up so people don't hijack your truck. Um, so I just leave it on all the time. I mean, some drivers don't and they take a risk. But the truck gets stolen. Your job's gone. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. All right, this is the green. I'll be rolling, and I'm gonna go park up some. I still have not received my next load info. I'll hit you up later. Y'all be good. Be safe. Positive thoughts. Uh, no tornadoes for those that were affected. Uh, my heavy heart. And thoughts are with you guys. Bye.